All right, so let's go ahead and get into this video. I would not allow my own wife to do that because once she puts it on, it shapes her shoulders, her back, maybe even her waist, and maybe tightens the abaya so that her chest would also be uh, apparent more than if she did not wear the backpack. If she wants to wear it, she can wear it underneath the abaya, put the abaya on top. No one can see the difference except this hump on the back, but nothing else. But to wear it on top of the abaya, uh, this is totally inappropriate and Allah knows best. <laughs> so I've actually talked about this man before. He is the person. Uh, I actually had some uh, people who are of the Muslim culture who uh, texted me on the last video I made about this individual man when he was talking about how it was my video called Muslims Can't Shake Hands or something like that. And uh, I used him as a reference point and people said that he was a good reference point. So uh, I don't think this is the exact rule. He said I would not allow. So he said I wouldn't. So I'm not sure if it's that deep, but we're going to find out. Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all feel that way. Um, here's going to be my thoughts on it. <clears throat> so should you wear... Could, should you wear a backpack under your bio? Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and explain what that is before I continue on to make sure. Because I don't want to have y'all confused. So. And a bio is a long black, long, long sleeved robe worn by Muslim women in Arabic speaking cultures, often with a headscarf or veil. So I'm sure you guys have seen what an abaya is. So he's saying that you should wear it on the inside because if you wear it, what it's going to do, please, please put the camera back on me, cameraman, please, thank you. What it's going to do is pull the fabric back, right? Pull the, now see, I'm, I'm a fat man, so y'all can see how it look. If I wore a backpack, right? If I wore a backpack, this, this shirt right here is already tight, but it's going to go even tighter right on the shoulders. And he's saying that it's going to be able to show her chest even more so, so he doesn't feel like you should do that okay instead if you're going if you absolutely need to wear a backpack throw the backpack on throw on the bio it's fine now see i know i'm probably gonna have an unpopular opinion on this i understand that people think that this is too much for women i'm a weirdo okay i like the abayas i like the way they look i like the way women look in those headscarves i am a man of modesty i, I you know because of where the culture has gone, where women wear booty shorts and they wear, they wear their, they had their bellies all out, they got their breasts hanging and all this stuff. I know I sound like a patriotic misogynist pig. I just don't, I, I like the abides. I don't agree with everything with that culture, but I can't say it. I prefer the women dressed like they do. I, because it, to me, I don't feel like, I feel like, I, see, okay. So when I was growing up, I loved dresses growing up. Like, I love women in dresses. I did. And when the culture started kind of swifting over to girls wearing those short skirts and stuff like that, it just got absolutely crazy. I used to always tell girls, hey, your shorts are too short. Now, you know me. me I've always been. A, I poked the bear. I don't give a dang about the bear. When I see the bear, I skin the bear. Okay? <clears throat> but anyway. So I would tell women, hey, your shirts, are, your, sh your uh, shorts are too sh short. Your shorts are too short. I would say that. I would say that about skirts. I would say that. I, I wouldn't say that about pants necessarily. But, you know, yoga pants started coming on and jeggings and stuff like that. So now women show up their booty cheeks no matter what they do in their life. And I've always been for the women who stayed modest. Some women, I like the women who, would, you know, they tie a sweater around their waist to keep you from being able to see their butt cheeks. I just don't understand what's wrong with that. And when I used to voice that, I got called, all the time I got called a homosexual or I got called weird. Women, for some reason, when I used to tell women, hey, because the second you tell a woman, hey, you know, that's kind of, you know, you really out there like that. Women immediately get offended. They're like, I should wear whatever I want to wear. It's like, okay, cool. You know what? Hey, live your life. <laughs> do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm throwing it out there. But then they go, they turn around on us men and say that men are pigs. So if a man says, hey. I don't, you know, you're not being very modest. Oh, we're misogynist pigs, like these people of this culture. When they say, hey, you need to wear that abaya. If we start saying that, oh, we're being misogynist, we're trying to control you. 
But if we go, damn, girl, booty looking nice, then we're pigs. Or if we look at a girl who's wearing those kind of clothes like you see in the gym, and the guy just looks over and goes, oh, she look nice. If you do that, you're a pig. It's like, so what the hell do you want us to do? Okay. If we say you want, if we say, hey, we like women modest, we're controlling. And if we look at you while you wear those clothes because they're revealing, can't help ourselves. Some of us, are, it's just, it, our eyes are going to look, okay? Oh, then we get put on TikTok, right? If a girl walks out into, you saw the girl who walked out in Japan and had her breast showing that I showed yesterday, right? She's walking in Japan, having people look at her, and she's like, I can't believe people are looking at me as I have my breasts exposed. It's like, what in the F are we supposed to do? So you know what? I just sit back, let those women dress how they dress, F it. We are where we are. But if you had to ask the big T-R-E, I don't know why I did that. But if you had to ask Trey, I would say, wear that abaya. Okay? If you're going to wear a backpack, wear it under your abaya. You know what I'm saying? I, The Arabic speaking cultures, I, I'm with them. <laughs> I love the way their women dress because there are women who have beautiful bodies that still look good in an abaya, but that doesn't mean they got to... A woman can't help how she, her body looks, but... She, if she's trying her best to cover it up, to me, that's attractive. It just really is, you know? It is attractive to me. It's different than when you're at your house with your wife. It's cool. It's a different story. Y'all are obviously going to go through the, the everything of life together. So you're going to see everything. But out and about, I like my wife covered up. My wife don't go out in no short shorts. Come on up. You know? And I go out. I don't go out even though I'm not attracted to look at you know what I mean? Even do, when I do go out, guess what I'm wearing? Hat, tie, button up, nice dress shoes, and my dress pants, okay? I still go out covered up. I have tattoos that you guys never see because I only time y'all see it is if I'm working out. But y'all never see them because what? I stay covered up. And when I'm in public, I never show my tattoos in public. I always wear long sleeves in public now. So, you know what I'm saying? Even though I got tattoos on my arms, I got tattoos right here. I got tattoos. I'm getting tattoos right here. I'm even getting more tattoos. You're never going to see them because those are for me. Then nobody needs to see all that. Okay. I'm a puppet. You never know. I'll be tatted up. I got, um, when I get back to my hometown in Texas, I'm getting a big back tattoo. But who's ever going to see it? Nobody except for my wife is maybe some bros at the gym. Okay. That's it. But nobody's ever going to see that. So I still try to stay modest, even myself. I don't go showing off everything I got. That's why I'm never going to get tattoos on my face or on my hands. I only get tattoos where I can cover up. I don't know. Maybe I'm a weirdo. But y'all let me know. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I don't know. I'm gone. Peace.